I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and want me to call you on your BS, all my coaching information is in the description below. And I'm going to be going live in December, Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and 11 a.m. Saturday mornings Central Standard Time. If you want to come hang out and uh, ask your manifestation questions, I'll be here on YouTube. And be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And the roofers are still here. So, yeah. All right. In this video, I wanted to talk about familiarizing your brain with what you want and specifically robotic affirmations. A lot of people have been asking me about robotic affirmations and that's been coming up a lot. And I want you guys to understand what you are truly doing when you're wanting to manifest something. You are changing your perspective is what you're doing. That is what you are trying to do. You are trying to get your natural thought process instead of being, oh my God, I'll never have the money. Everything's so expensive. Oh my God, what am I going to do? No, SP will never be with me. They want to be with 3P. I'm not good enough. You want to get rid of that mindset and change you, change the perspective to, I have so much fucking money. I don't know what to do with all of it. I get everything I want when I want it. SP is madly in love with me. The ha we have the most amazing relationship. I am more than enough. I am worthy and deserving of everything I've ever wanted. Getting it to where that is your default mindset. Because right now your default mindset is garbage. And you want to change your mindset. You're not changing the outside. You're changing you. And the way that you change you is through repetition. That is how you start to, first of all, familiarize yourself with something new. When you're used to telling yourself, I'm not enough. I could never have that. That would never happen to me. I'm just, you know, nothing good ever happens to me. When that is your default mindset. And I'm speaking from fucking experience because that was me. When you start telling yourself, I am more than enough. I always get what I want. Everything's possible. It is unfucking comfortable because you are not familiar with it and you're going, oh my God, that's not true. This is why in my early videos, I'm like, you lie to yourself. Looking outside of you, it is not true. And you know it's not fucking true. And if you don't have a lot of faith in the law and a lot of evidence, the times you have successfully manifested things consciously to back you up, you're going to feel probably like a dumbass saying that shit. It's going to feel fucking awkward and gross and wrong and you feel like I used to feel like the biggest idiot I was like this is stupid like this can't possibly work this isn't real I all that shit but you fucking persist you affirm anyway affirming is just telling yourself that things are different than they are now the thoughts you would think if you had what you want that's all affirmations are that's it your other thoughts are the ones that just come up naturally this is where in my older videos, I would talk about affirming versus confirming. You can confirm the shit that has always been true or the shit that's happening in the 3D, or you can affirm whatever the fuck you want, telling yourself that it's different and it's changed. It's the way you want it to be now. But it is familiarizing yourself with, I am enough. I am worthy. I am deserving. Everything's possible. I'm amazing. I have my relationship. I have my money. I love my life. Everything's perfect. I get everything I want when I want it. Whatever it is that you want to change, it doesn't matter. You do it the same way through repetition of telling yourself that things are now the way you want them to be. This is where robotic affirmations can be very helpful because you're going to pick like one or two affirmations and just repeat them to yourself. Or if you have a list of affirmations, however you want to do it, but you just do it over and over and over again, over and over and over again. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. SP loves me. SP loves me. SP loves me. SP loves me. So that you become familiar with it. And the more you do it and the less you focus on how things are and how uncomfortable it is and all of that bullshit and just decide that this is what's going to be true and allow those thoughts to start to become familiar, the faster this shit is going to change. The more you resist it by being like, well, that's not true and that will never change and blah, blah, blah. You're fucking right. Because that's what you're choosing to put your focus on and give your attention to. 
And until you get to the point where you can drop that shit, guess what you're going to get more of? Because that's where your focus is. And the law is always fucking working. Always. 24-7, 365. From the day you were born until the day you were die. It is how the world works. It's like the law of gravity. It doesn't just not work. It's always working. And it works perfectly. You need to take the pressure off of yourself and focus on this. Having and you don't have to do it robotically if that doesn't feel good to you. But it does help a lot of people. That's what I needed in the beginning. But you need to become familiar with you. If you know your goal is to familiarize this with something new, what does your brain need in order to get it there? Is it robotic affirmations? Is it just being present and shifting your thoughts when you start to catch yourself going down rabbit holes you don't want to be going down? Do you need to tell you, do you need to make up stories? Do you need to get good at making up stories? Does your brain need more of a reason that things are good in order to drop that old shit? Do it however feels good to you. Legitimately, there's no right or wrong way to get yourself familiar with something new, but the goal is to familiarize yourself with what you now want to be true. And whatever you need to tell your brain in order for it to calm the fuck down and agree with you is what you need to do. I saw a great technique of somebody being like, I can't, it was somebody I found on TikTok. They were like, Use your affirmation and then ask yourself, what is my next thought going to be? Because it kind of makes your brain go, what? This is where people like ask formations. This is where realizing that in any moment you can use any fucking technique you want. In one moment you could revise it. In the next moment you could think robotically. In the next moment you could ask yourself an ask formation. It's all just your thoughts. These are all just tools that you can use interchangeably together. The key is to focus repeatedly on having things the way you want them to be. Familiarizing yourself with way, the way you want things to be. It's not about the perfection of the technique that's going to manifest. I've spoken on this, I think, recently on here. Techniques don't manifest. Your dominant state of who you think you are and what you think things are is. Do you want to do like the list method and be like, this is all the shit I'm manifesting. It's all done. So whenever you think about it, nope, that shit's all done. It doesn't matter how you go about it, but the goal is to familiarize your brain with that shit. Because the more you do it, the more natural it's going to become and it is going to become your natural mindset. I fucking promise you, you're going to wake up and be like, Holy crap, all that shit I've been affirming, I now just think on autopilot. And this could happen before shit even manifests. Like I was talking about before in the last video, you don't know when shit's going to manifest. But your mindset is always going to create. So get good at focusing on things being the way you want them to be and let the rest go. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light.